Well, it's a done deal in the House. That $1.1 trillion spending bill passing late last night. The vote to pass the bill and avoid a government shutdown was delayed actually for a couple of hours as Democrats objected to parts of the bill that would roll back part of the Dodd-Frank financial reform law. All the opposite side has to do is to stop supporting a bill that would allow the biggest banks in America to rip off the people one more time. Well, the bill now heads over to the Senate, where Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has been loudly raising some of the same objections. The Senate's expected to pass the bill, though. That vote may not come until this weekend. And that brutal storm that's been lashing Northern California may just be a preview of what's to come. High winds, drenching rains that left hundreds. You see a house being washed away right there. Hundreds with, or thousands without power. Uh, pummeling areas around San Francisco, other parts of Northern California. Some folks had to be evacuated. In higher elevations, there were blizzard conditions. The storm, dubbed a Pineapple Express, is now sweeping into Southern California. Another storm may soon be on its heels. And it was one of the promises of Obamacare, cutting medical costs. But a new study says medical debt could be ruining the credit of millions of Americans. The, financial, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says an estimated 43 million people have at least one medical account that's in collection. And more than half of all overdue debt on credit reports is related to medical care. And the head of the CIA has been defending his agency after the release of the Senate report this week on the treatment of terror suspects. Director John Brennan in a rare news conference admitted that some interrogators went too far, but he says the program yielded useful intelligence. Detainees who were subjected to EITs at some point during their confinement subsequently provided information that our experts found to be useful and valuable in our counterterrorism efforts. And our own Steve Malsberg talked with former CIA counsel John Rizzo, who says, without a doubt, the program saved lives. Why would the CIA con continue to carry on a program for seven years when we're coming under increasingly public and political sc scrutiny? Rizzo calls the report one-sided and distorted and joins Brennan in criticizing the Senate for not interviewing anyone involved in the program. And more fallout from the Sony Pictures hack. BuzzFeed now says New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd shared an upcoming column with the husband of the Sony Pictures co-chair before it was actually published. That's a no-no in journalism. That column from last March painted Amy Pasca in, a much, in, in such a good light that the studio scored points with the newspaper. It comes from a trove of emails stolen from Sony by hackers calling themselves guardians of peace. And so maybe at least some dogs really do go to heaven. Pope Francis this week in his weekly address to the Vatican says that all dogs, all God's creatures rather, can make it into heaven. He was reportedly comforting a young boy who had just lost his own dog. Another update coming up for you in 30 minutes.